Let's take a look at the mixer interface. On the top row are the hardware input channels. Any signal connected to analog or digital inputs will show up here. The level meters are pre-fader, as these are showing the signal hitting the input. Note that the fader here does not control the level sent directly to your recording software. It's only controlling the level sent to your output for latency-free monitoring. Above the fader are mute and solo buttons. If you're using these, make sure the master mute and solo buttons are active over on the right side panel. Above these buttons is the pan knob, and below you get a numerical readout of the signal level. Click the tool icon on a channel to access options. At the top is your stereo button, allowing you to change between mono or stereo fader configuration. Below is the level control, where you can set the sensitivity of the analog input channels. Next is stereo width control, and below is the effect send for reverb and delay bus. The MS processing button allows you to monitor a mid-side input signal in true stereo, while capturing the mid-side audio in software. At the bottom are switches to flip the phase of the left and right channels. Input channels with mic preamps have some extras, such as the 48 volt phantom power and preamp gain controls. The INST button here switches the channel to instrument mode for use with a guitar or bass high Z input. The middle row of faders are software outputs. This is the signal coming out of the DAW or other audio software. These channels have some of the same options as the input row above. The bottom row faders are hardware output channels. Some new buttons are available here. There's a talkback button that will allow you to assign the channel to receive the talkback signal when active. There's also a loopback button that will send the signal present at the output back as an input signal, allowing you to record the submix or send one software's audio output to another software input. The solo buttons are replaced by Q buttons on the bottom row. Clicking Q on a channel will send the audio directly to the main output, allowing you to audition any output channel's audio. If you want the Q to send the audio to a phone's mix instead, you can set this up with the Assign button in the control room. 